Hello everybody and welcome to my very first YouTube video which I'm making to show you this proto board. A proto board? I've seen that before. Why would it show me that? Well this one's kind of different. Because look, it's got a power supply inside it. So you don't need an external power supply to you know power your project or batteries. You got plus 5 volts, 15 and minus 15. 5 volts for your logic circuits and 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 OR gates and stuff. 15 and minus 15 for op amps, anything that requires that. Of course common ground for for all three of them, I found this thing. It was really grimy. It was sitting in someone's garage for a long, long time. I cleaned it up. It looks great now. But most importantly, it's from New Haven, Connecticut. Not my hometown, but my home state. But New Haven's a great place. So shout out to New Haven. Okay, now let's talk about what's inside this thing. It came with a manual, which I thought was super awesome because sometimes you'll, you won't even have anything like this, any documentation. You know, it's got the specs on the power supply, how to use it, pretty straightforward. Probably the coolest thing was that it came with a schematic. So let's go over the schematic, but of course this is way too tiny. So look, I redrew it. Now this circuit is not very complicated. Our 120 volt input through a one amp fuse, on off switch. This is our power on light, I misdrew it as a capacitor so I made it red. The primary winding of our transformer, these two lines representing the iron core three secondary windings for our three output voltages. So winding number one for our plus five volt output. This winding has 11 and a half volts AC to our bridge rectifier. We have DC out, it's probably nine, nine and a half, nine, nine and a half volts out. Uh, two capacitors, this is nothing fancy, just to filter any ripple that may have come through our rectifier to our 7805. Now you're probably familiar with the 7805, but if not, you input voltage here. It's gotta be at least a couple volts higher than five volts. So seven to, I guess, you know, 11 and a half is typical. Uh, input, ground, and then your output will be five volts. Very closely regulated five volts, no matter what your input is. On the output, two more capacitors for filtering. So that's why these linear supplies are really stable you get really clean output voltage here. Uh, not sure what this resistor's for. My, I also don't know. <laughs> and a diode on the output. This provides reverse polarity protection. So that's your basic 7805 circuit. Input voltage, which is, has to be higher than five volts. Some capacitors for filtering and the diode optional, but it's a good choice. It's good to be safe. Now these ones, these circuits is what are what I thought was really cool. I may have seen something like this in the data sheet at one point, but it never really stuck. So when I saw this, I was thinking, how the heck do you get 15 volts and minus 15 volts out of a five volt regulator? It doesn't, you know, it, it, and at first it doesn't sound intuitive, but let's go over it. All right, now let's talk a little bit more about the part of the circuit that allows us to use a 7805, a five volt regulator to achieve 15 volts on the output of our power supply. So starting with the input voltage, you need something that's a couple volts higher than your desired output. In this case, we want 15, so we'll go with 18, which is at what our transformer's tapped at as well. The main function of the 7805 is to maintain five volts between these two pins, ground and output. So in your typical 7805 circuit, your ground pin is just at zero volts. So your output is at five, and that's how you get your normal five volt output. But as you can see here, it's a little bit different because we have this resistor here. So our ground point is not at zero volts. Now to maintain this five volts between the ground and the output, the 7805 requires what's called bias current. And that's this blue current here. I looked it up in the data sheet. It's typically around 4.2 milliamps. So we'll just use that. That's the current it requires for its internal circuitry to work. We won't go into the internals of the 7805, but that's just this current here. Now this red current, is the result of the five volts between the output and ground that's dropped across our potentiometer, whatever is set at. It doesn't matter what this potentiometer is set at, you're always gonna have five volts across here. And that will result in its own current, five volts over R, Ohm's law, simple, where R is whatever the potentiometer is set to. Now, this red current and the blue uh, bias current combines at this node, KCL, to form this purple current here, 4.2 milliamps plus five volts divided by whatever the potentiometer is set to. And this current goes through our 470 ohm resistor, which develops its own voltage, V equals IR, 
voltage across this resistor is equal to the purple current times 470. Now, how can we use this information to determine where our output voltage will be? Well, it's simple. We use KVL. So if we go in a loop here, we have the voltage dropped across this resistor. Plus 5 volts is our output voltage. And I wrote that equation right here. The voltage across our resistor, I put the orange bracket around it, is 4.2 milliamps, our bias current, plus 5 volts divided by R, the current flowing through the potentiometer, multiplied by 470 ohms. And of course I ran out of room, so I wrote the 5 volts right here that is dropped across this resistor. So that's your output voltage. Simple. Nothing crazy here. I just think it's a cool circuit. I think it's pretty neat. With just a resistor and potentiometer, and so provided you have enough input voltage, you can use a 5 volt regulator to achieve almost any output voltage you wanted. So coming back to our original circuit, we can see how it works now. By adjusting this resistance, we change the current through here and the output voltage. So I guess at the factory, whenever they build this thing, they'll adjust this resistor such that the outputs are 15 volts and minus 15 volts. How do we get the minus 15 volts? That's another cool thing here. Not Nothing crazy, no crazy tricks. I just thought it was kind of neat. Because we have two independent uh, output windings from, the, from our transformer, we can do this one as a standard 15 volt fine. This one is exactly the same. But what's the difference? The difference is that our ground or zero volt node is tied as the ground here of this one, the ground here. That gives us our two positive supplies output. And instead of bringing the output down here again, which would just give us two 15 volt outputs, obviously not what we're looking for, we just bring it here. So now, compared to this point, this is 15 volts more negative. So we have our 15 volt negative supply. And again, diodes across each one to prevent reverse polarity. Because if you were to, you know, these are tied together, you could have some op amp here. If, it were, if the load were somehow short, you'd have minus 15 volts across here. But luckily, the diode will protect it, so current won't surge or won't propagate back through the 7805, protecting your circuitry. It's a good habit to get into. I didn't really think of it until I saw this thing. So I learned a ton from this circuit. I think this is great. Okay, now let's take a look inside this thing. First off, note, power's off. It's unplugged. You don't want to be poking around in here unless you're very careful and know what you're doing. So it's just a good practice to unplug it first. And I have our schematic here for reference. So let's just start with the plug. Simple. Comes in here. 100 volt power. Our uh, fuse is right here. Our light. Very straightforward. Our switch right there. These two black wires are the 120 volts that go back to the transformer. Three outputs, tapped, uh, red, orange, yellow, whatever. Comes to the board. These cool components here, these are our four diodes and our bridge rectifier. So that turns the AC coming from these wires into DC, which goes into the capacitors. These big honking 2200 microfarad capacitors are right here, the point ones. I don't know, somewhere else in there. Uh, what next? The 7805s, those are right here, as you can see, strapped to a big heat sink. Because these things, unfortunately, they do waste a lot of power, a relatively high amount of power. So, yeah, good idea, strap them to a heat sink, dissipate that heat, don't want to damage them. Although they do have input thermal regulation, so they'll shut down if they get too hot, but, you know. Okay, right here, the potentiometers, our 1K potentiometers. This is how you'll adjust the output voltage. Adjust the current through here, through here. Adjust your output voltage to 15 volts. I already did this. And our output wires, the uh, orange, green, and yellow. These are our output terminals right here. These, the output filter capacitors, probably the 22 microfarad. Uh, these white wires are common. You know, we have our common return. And that's it. It's pretty simple. I think it's really cool. I mean, it's not very fancy, obviously, but just for simple prototyping, I think it's a pretty cool circuit. And I learned a lot. I don't really know anything about using a 7805 to, to get different voltages. I think that's really cool. And it's so simple, just two resistors. And I could unscrew the board and look at it, but really on the opposite side, it's just the traces. So really nothing too interesting. So if you have our schematic right here, it's pretty simple to see how everything works. Okay, now I know this is the part you're dying for. You want me to check the output, show you how this thing actually works. Let's check it out. Got my uh, cheap multimeter right here. Turn it on. The light comes on. That's good. Let's check first the 5 volts. 
5.1. That's, that's pretty good and very closely regulated, very little ripple. So that's a very stable supply for your uh, AND gates and OR gate shift registers, logic gates. That's all that kind of thing. Let's check our plus 15. 15.06. That's awesome because I adjusted it already. And our mine is 15.07. Oh my gosh, this thing is amazing. No, I'm just kidding. I already adjusted it. So anyway, thank you for watching. And if you like this video or you have any more questions, leave a comment. If you have any more questions about how the circuit works, leave a comment. I'll make another video explaining it, how to use 7805s or do any of the circuit analysis. It's not very advanced. If you're an advanced uh, electronics person, you probably won't really find much to learn. But if you're new and you want to learn something else about it, just let me know and I'll be happy to make more videos. So again, thanks very much for watching. If you have anything to say, feel free to leave a comment. I'd love to see it. And I'll catch you next time.